Hi folks, Spencer Rempel for Gibbons Motor Toys here. And uh, hey, we're at the Edmonton Boat Show and I've got a special treat for you. Today I've got uh, Jason Bellows of Bucktail Adventures out of the Shushwap area in uh, 2725 here that he's helping us display. And he's got a lot of experience in this boat and he's gonna show us around. He owns one just like this. He runs his guiding business out of it and he spent a lot of hours on the water. So let's go take a look. Hey folks, Jason here with Bucktail Adventures out of Salmonar. I'm sitting here on, on the Kingfisher 2725 Weekender. This is the exact same model that I have and guide with back on Chushwap Lake. I mean, this boat is rock solid and I love it. We get out here, I've got no problem four people and I've had up to seven people on this boat before with myself. So plenty of room out there on the back deck. I call it my dance floor back there and lots of comfort inside the cabin here. <clears throat> plenty of room, plenty of seating. Um, my boat's got a heater on board, so any of those cold, rainy days, doesn't really matter. Flick on the heater, everybody's warm and comfortable. I have a head on board, so it's really comfortable for everybody. You know, I, I'm all about kids and families. I want to see guys bringing their wives out, bringing the kids out and enjoying a day out here. And this boat really gives everybody that comfort that they're looking for out on the lake. Um, we, get, we get into some great fish out there on the Shushwap. And this boat, uh, it handles all the weather and everything that, uh, that Mother Nature's got to throw at us here. And I also do a private trip every year out to Prince Rupert, and some of you may have recognized the boat out there. And uh, there is nothing the ocean has either that I care about. I mean, lots of wind, and this boat just cuts right through it and handles it all. Great ride, great fishing vessel. The onboard heater is absolutely essential for me. Um, out on the shoe shop, cold days, wet days, it's so nice. Turn the heater on, clients are very comfortable. We do our Rupert trip every year. I mean, that west coast can be very wet. We come in, we hang our gear, fire up the heater, it warms up in here, crack a window, let all that humidity out, dry our gear, make some dinner, and have some great, great times in here. So heater, very important. Lots of room in the front of the boat here in the sleeping area. Um, two of us sleep in here very comfortable. I got two little baby girls. Sarah and I go out and we take the whole family out and all of us sleep in there. So it's another great feature. Here's the sink, fridge on here, lots of storage on board. I mean, storage under all the seating. And, uh, and here's the head, you know, toilet in here, gray water tank, it's got a black water tank on board. I mean, perfect, perfect for getting out and spending that weekend out there. So come on with me, let's go to the back deck and we'll check out some features here. Well folks, out here on this back deck, um, one good feature about the Weekender Offshore Package is this self-bailing deck. So any of the water that comes in, if it's if it's moored up, you don't have to worry about anything. It just flushes out the back and you don't have to worry about a bilge pump kicking in. There is a bilge pump in the bottom for safety, of course, but everything just flushes right out the back of this boat. Um, also very important is a rear steering station. I spend a ton of time holding that wheel during the summer and uh, I have full control of Verado back here and my kicker. So it's, it's very important and a great feature of this boat. Another nice thing, the Bimini top above us, keeps the sun off me, keeps the rain off clients, and uh, really helps us out here. Fish hold in this boat's pretty big, and uh, it's got a macerator pump on it, which also grinds up all that fish debris and slime and spits it out over the boat. Um, we've also got tow hooks on the, on the side of the rails here and bolstered gunnel pads. Extra wide gunnels, lots of room to mount the downriggers. I have burn with mounting system on two downriggers and I have another two mounted in the back corner. So four downriggers on my boat, plenty of room for freshwater or ocean fishing if you don't want to stack lines. Um, rear door on this model gets you on and off that swim deck at the back, which helps at the dock and things like that. So check out one of the 2725 Weekenders from Kingfisher and enjoy a good ride. Oh yeah.